Hello, and welcome to Check It Out with Rich. Um, hey, Dave. Yes, sir. Why am I standing in the shower? <laughs> well, Rich, I think we're uh, we're going to replace this sink and we're going to replace this faucet. And uh, if you stand in the uh, in the doorway, you're not going to see anything. Okay. And um, it's nine thirty. When do we have to have this done by? Eleven thirty. Okay. Possible. Sure. Maybe just about. I don't want to hear maybe. <laughs> We have we have to be done at eleven thirty. Yes, sir. All right. So, what's the first step? First step is I'm going to try and get this faucet out. So I need a couple of wrenches. Shut off. The, there's isolation valves on the, both the hot and the cold lines underneath here. Yes, which so, is very nice. Alliance does that. Yes. Yes. So shut those off to start with. These have never been shut off. I actually go around and uh, when I winterize, de-winterize, yeah. I go around and I turn all my valves. So stiff. Alright, got shut off. Okay, so there's just two water connections and a nut that holds that faucet oh, on, faucet correct? Yep, yeah, that's correct. Yeah. Okay. Oh. And they're going with a different faucet? Yes. Um, black, I, I oh, think I said. One. Yeah, black, uh, square yeah. one. Okay. Similar concept, but it comes straight up and straight up. Okay. The uh, sink that we're going to put in is uh, going to sit a little on the proud side up here, a couple of inches. Mm -hmm. So we need enough height to be able to clear that. Okay. Now. And just for the record, we are in Mike and Darlene's camper. Yes. Let's see if we can get these out. These just unscrew out the bottom. And the nice thing about that is that we can use them. And the new one. Oh, that's good. So they will fit, so we don't have to change any of the fittings underneath uh, because these are custom for uh, Alliance or RVs anyway. Yeah. And uh, you get to buy a new faucet. They come usually with stainless steel braids and completely different fittings. So they just, these two just unscrew straight out of the bottom. Okay. Okay. Now, just need to drop the sink out. So the next step will be there's uh, four screws that hold it up underneath. And then we can uh, pry it out. Yep. So I'm just unscrewing the drain out the bottom. And then we'll unscrew this one as well. So take that out. This is going to get replaced. There will be another one. In the, with with the, the new kit. Yeah. And the, the goal is to position it so that this fits right back into the old fittings. There's just two two clips, daughter? Yeah, just okay. two, one on either side. One out. I won't be able to get a video on that one. Okay, next, next cut out the silicone. Yeah. And that's it. And there she's out. Okay. That's all there is to it. Next step will be to clean up around the edge and get the new sink overlay it on top of the hole here mark out because it's uh, a different shape mark out where we need to ride her out to get it to drop down and uh, then we'll start fitting we'll be done in two hours we will be done in two hours. <laughs> <laughs> all right dave i think you'd be just uh get a little bit of silicone and <laughs> i think we're good well, i think it'll be all right <laughs> yeah, we'll those holes in there. well yeah that's no problem no that is not a problem right the next step we're not getting paid for this right Gin. Gin? Okay, <laughs> all right, all right. You do it right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to just mark up where it touches right now so that we can uh, bring it out with the router. So we need to come out probably about this much. Come back around. Same on this side. 
This is a bit more of a trial and error process mm -hmm. than anything else. And we're going to just probably take a little bit out on the corner, on the ends here, both ends. And we'll do the same on the other side. Okay. That'll give me a guide to where to work through. And then we'll try fitting and tweaking and fitting and tweaking till we get a good a good fit. Okay, the next step is the noisy, dusty, messy bit. The router, brand new router, just for this job. All right. Yep. Okay, so how many times did you have to get up, grab the sink? About <laughs> a dozen. A dozen? Is that all? That's all. That's about it. About a dozen times. Okay. Uh, with this sink, we've had to come all the way forward to the front of the cabinet. Right up yeah, I see you can't here. go anymore. Yeah, we couldn't go anymore. Okay. It's a little larger than the one I've installed before, but we can do a, a quick dry fit just to see how it looks. I'm going to start by putting the, uh, the faucet in the back. Yep, I think it would be a little easier doing that right now, don't you? Yes, it will. That so goes back in there. And the sink just tucks down in, just like it was made for it. And I don't know if you can see down through the hole here, but it lines up perfectly with the old uh, waste pipe position. So we should be able to uh, tie straight into it. Okay. Okay. Looking good. All right. So we'll take this out. What I have is some. I have some uh, household actually a draft excluder, which I put around the edge of the hole here, just make it flush with the top. Okay. That gives it something to cushion against. Yeah. Because there's no other way to fix it in. So okay. what we're going to do? Sit it down in there. I'll put the, I'll put the uh, insulation stuff around it, and then we'll sit the tub in, then we can caulk around. Okay. Okay. This is what I'm going to put on the inside of the hole to sit the, uh, the, foot, the, the uh, sink into. This will give it a little bit of cushioning. It's just uh, okay, a draft excluder. Um, it'll give it a little bit of cushioning, and it'll also take up the space down below because it's a shaped uh, vessel. Yeah. Um, this will fill in that gap underneath. Okay. All right, okay. sounds good. Okay, so we're going to put this uh, draft excluder around just to provide a bit of uh, cushioning for the vessel. And there we go. So we start at the back so the join, any join is uh, out of sight. I'm just going to put it in flush with the top of the hole. Okay, it's actually a good idea using that. Yeah, I, when I, I did it last time, it's like. Yeah, that works really nicely because it just gives that little bit of protection, but it also makes it a much tighter fit. Mm -hmm. It's a blade might help me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's all there. Okay, so that looks good. So the next step will be we're going to put the, the faucet in the back because it's tight coming in behind this vessel sink. So we'll, ins we'll just drop that in place first. Okay. Then we'll put the vessel in, in place. We need to get the uh, drain and all of that installed into the vessel. So we've got a couple of steps to do yeah. before we get to, to the final fitment. This is going to be a pain in the butt. Uh-huh. <laughs> Putting the, fi the fixture back on there. So, this faucet is just held in with these uh, C-type clamps okay. and the screw that comes up underneath ties it up in place. So while this thing is out, we'll, uh, we'll put the, install that and get it snugged up. Right, so there's just a fancy little wrench that comes with it. That's a, Right. Straight. 
good. And then we've got the water lines down in here, so we'll hook those up while we're here. So the hot one over onto the red. And by using the old water lines, they screw right back in where they came from. Mm -hmm. And they happen to be the right length. And this one. No, you don't need to use wrenches on them, correct? No. You just hand tighten. No, I just hand tighten them. Yep. Up. Yeah. So this is the uh, the washers up the top here. This okay. is the nut that holds it on place. Okay. And we just tighten that nut up with uh, with this wrench, just like this. Okay, there you this go. It's is, easy enough. That's pretty straightforward. Just give it a good tighten up. That's all there is to holding it in place. Okay. And then we've screwed in the cold water line and the hot water line, and they're just hand tight. That's all that's needed on these. So we're just going to drop the faucet. Uh, the faucet. The vessel sink down in place, and now you can see it sits in there nice and snug. And all the gaps around the edge have been taken up. Yeah, it's not too bad. Not a bad fit, yeah. That. Yeah, and we're just clearing the faucet in the back there by about a micron. Looks like it's got to go tilted that way. Yep, that looks a little bit better there from what I can see. I'm going to uh, tape and then we'll just measure top to bottom here and here, here and here as best we can. Okay. And then uh, we'll know it's sitting in flat. Then I'll, we'll run a bead of cork around around this base. edge, yep. the bottom. And then other than the drain, which fits right down in here and lines up perfectly with the old drain setup, um, that's all that will hold this vessel in, in place. But as you can see, it's in there pretty tight. Yeah, now. it is. Yeah. So. Yeah, I'm uh, about to do that when I do mine. Yeah. I now you work. you can't put the drain in now because you won't be able to get the vessel in because the faucet's in the way. Correct. So if you was to put the faucet in second. Yes. You can do that, but it would make harder getting the faucet yes. installed. It's, okay. In fact, it, it's extremely difficult the, because there's so little space in the yes. back here. Yep. And this being a relatively large square. So mm -hmm makes it quite difficult to get it to go over and down in. yeah and you can make it go sideways but then you can't turn it around yes so uh, depending on what type of faucet you put here uh, will determine whether you need to put it in first or second yes so in here should be the the drain now I just hope that we can use this drain yes there is no guarantee that we can. Worst comes to worst, you can reuse the old one. Yes. As long as the, the tailpiece is long enough. Yes. Uh, looks like this might Oh, that's a, okay, that's just a push up. Yeah. Yeah, okay. If I'm not mistaken, that just mm -hmm. slot down in there, yep. like that. And then back on your knees. Back on the knees. <laughs> So, back okay, underneath. and I will help by holding the top. Thank you, sir. Okay, it's just a done up hand tight. Okay, I've been able to install the waistline directly from the bottom of the sink into the existing pipe work. It's long enough. No cutting, no nothing. No cutting, no nothing. Just put it in there and. Uh, so, all lines up. Looks pretty good. Be brave. We'll turn on the water. Oh, jeez. Oh, Here we go. Here we go. Let me get my galoshes on. Yeah. That's the cold one on. That's the hot one on. Let's see what we get. And we have flow. Okay, that's good. The valves are working underneath the sink. Yeah. Now there are some drips there that were pre from uh, before, so. Let's see if it feels dry. Not seeing anything coming through that shouldn't be nope. there. Yep. I and think we got hot water out of the hot side. We got cold water from the cold side. And I think we have success. And we have a sink that holds water. 
So the last step will be to just run a bead of cork around the bottom edge here. Okay. And let that set up and uh, we'll be done. Okay. Except for the cleaning. Except for the cleanup. Are you doing that or is Darlene? Um, well, <laughs> if Darlene brings me a dust buster, I will do some of it. <laughs> Since I created all of it. It seems fair. So all I'm using is the DAP Quick Seal uh, adhesive cork. So that will help bind the sink in place as well as seal up the gap yep. around the bottom here. And, uh, let's see if we can. I'm going to start at the back, hopefully. And see how we can do. Getting the bead in, I'll come up. I'll work this way around. Yep. Yes, that's my plan. Let's see what we can get in here. Just use the finger. Just run it very slowly. Around. too bad. Mm -mm. Looks pretty good. Yeah, getting between the uh, vessel and the uh, faucet yeah. is... Uh, That's going to be pretty tricky. Just about reach the I think, I think you got it. I think they got it, right? As far as I can tell here, it looks like it's all sealed up. Alright. Me a little bit right here. There's a hump of extra. Okay. You get it? Yeah, that looks better. Yeah, yeah I don't see no void. And I'm not going back d in there. Don't go back <laughs> in. I, I I just straightened out that one that bit. was humped up. Right. Okay. And there's still a little hump, but I don't want to touch it again. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're good. I think you look good. So that concludes today's lesson on installing. A new vessel sink and faucet in Alliance 32 RLS bathroom. Okay, Dave. Thanks a lot. Um, a scale of one to ten difficulty for somebody doing somebody something like doing this. this um, it's not that easy, mainly because if you are not semi-skilled with a router, you're in trouble. Yeah. Uh, you can't cut these out by hand with a saw. Uh, because there's no room even with a small jigsaw you wouldn't be able to get around in here properly mm -hmm. um, so I would say it's probably I don't know maybe an eight or so eight okay yeah. okay I, I would the say faucet, about an eight yeah replacing the faucet that's it that's the easy that's job. a three <laughs> yeah but getting a, taking the original sink out that's easy yeah Putting the cutting a hole for these vessel sinks there's no <laughs> templates yeah. So you're basically doing it all by hand and guesswork trying yeah. to get it to fit. Yeah, because this vessel is actually supposed to sit on top of the counter. Correct. It's not it supposed to be that's right. inlaid in. It's not supposed to be laid in. That's yeah. right. But given the space, we've only got about 10 inches of space up underneath here. Mm -hmm. So you can't put in a big faucet, Yeah. which means you need to drop these vessel yes. sinks down into the hole. And Plus it, there's a big hole there. And if away. you look, it's actually back, it's either flush. I actually think it's back set maybe an eighth inch it, or so. Yeah, it's just, yes. So the hole has been cut all the way to the four front. To, to this panel. To this panel. Yeah. On, yeah, on the yep. inside. Okay. So that's, uh, that's the best you can do. Good job. You're welcome. Thank oh, yeah. you. Oh yeah. All right. Sweet. It's about time for me to get out of this shower. It is hot. I feel bad for Dave. He, he's up and down and this and that. I'm just sitting there. Right. So, all right. So hopefully this, this helps somebody out. Um, really anybody can do this. Just, you really have to, like uh, Dave was saying with the router, you really have to take your time and pretty much know what you're doing. Maybe practice on a spare piece of board or something, yeah. but, uh, Okay, so once again, thanks for checking it out. We'll see you all next time. Bye.